I want to do like a deep sea piratey tiki type theme. This is not about designing. Let's talk about some other shortcuts. There's so many things that you can set as your default. I'll pick one of these. Notice that this default font, you can go into type go down to character styles. If it's in brackets, it means it's your default. So you could change the default, double click. And sure enough, if we take a look, basic character formats, acumen variable concept. We can go to Comic Sans as the default font. If I save this back to that location, or if I change any one of these, I can change each one to Comic Sans and it'll always open with Comic Sans. I usually do acumen because it has all of these capabilities to adjust. Gives me these lovely little sliders. I like have the most control over this font. These aren't very Tiki related, so let's talk about fonts a little bit more. All this stuff is all customized. Stuff in here, stuff in here. If you get a little carried away, I just added a graphic style because I had a bunch preloaded, so it makes creating things really fun and easy. I could reduce this back to the basic appearance. We can see we could find more fonts. It's gonna initialize. It's basically like going out to Adobe Fonts. Just make sure your filter is cleared. So there's no filter in here. Go to decorative, because we wanna have some really interesting decorative fonts, or I'm actually gonna modify it. I will usually jump out to fonts.adobe.com. I'd go to all fonts. So right in here, I can pick probably something rough would be kind of fun. HWT American. This text is getting kind of hard to read. Let's play with this. Hell or high water tiki. I want to get into like alignments. If we did want to do like something that had some waves or some element, let's actually just jump in and make a quick element. We might want to align with our logo. And maybe I do have this word tiki. Maybe I'll just focus on this word. And it is actually pretty angular. I could take this. Let's actually drag this down. Well, option click, you can change this to the chamfered corners, rounded corners, all that fun stuff. Cause all I'm doing is making like a little diamond. Let's say I have this shape and I want to actually align it to uh, this text somehow. We'll select this text. We'll go down in here for, in fact, I'll open up my character panel. Let's change this to, ooh, this is fun. Turn on smart guides. You need to go to view, clear down to snap to glyph. So you actually need to turn it on and then you'll see these are all now turned on. Let's take this font right here, kind of move this around and you can see it's actually snapping to the different glyph bound. If I decide I want it to be flush with the top, I don't have to drag out guides to do that or flush with the X height everywhere where it turns green. And we have a bunch of cool fonts, to be honest with you. Glyph bound, boom. To the top, we can see the key thing is, is I can align this exactly the way I want. Let's do a script-based font. Here we have this text. Let's change the color really fast. I'm gonna give it an outline, black outline. And this always happens. Does this happen to you, Bruce? Tell me, does it? And we're gonna keep this as live text on our appearance panel, and we'll just add another fill on top. Now let's take a look at it. Oh, thank you very much. We lose a little bit of the thickness of the stroke size. We could thicken that up. Whenever you're not given gradients, just know that your appearance panel can override pretty much anything, and it'll treat this just like any other shape using your appearance panel. I'm just gonna change this to maybe a purple. And now I want to have maybe another stroke and it's going to be black. What if I want this black one offset? I want to make this like a sticker is you can come in here and you have these same effects that you can apply to a stroke. We can go to offset path. I can offset that path like however many I want. If you run into that, we could change the font. Let's go into our stroke. Our offset path is applied to that stroke. Let's add another stroke really fast. Underneath these, see you later. <laughs>